Okay, so you might wonder what I'm doing down here, reading this gauge. And it's because we don't have any water. And the heating guy says probably the pipe has frozen. And I guess it would at minus 10. I can't read that darn thing. What does that say? It says... Big trouble. <laughs> it says five. So the pressure is five. I wonder what normal is. Okay, I have to phone and report that. This is the spot where the water pipe comes in from the outside, and I guess it goes through all kinds of um, stones and stuff, and it's really cold on the way. And apparently, this little plug thing is a heating blanket. But I don't think the heating blanket is working. And here is the rest of the um, pipe that's coming out from inside the basement. And it's just kind of covered up with bags of, they appear to be leaves. Um, and I guess that's the big insulation. And I'll just back up here so that you can see how kind of exposed this is. So, this is a problem that can get solved, I'm sure. Hmm, really interesting. So here we are back in the basement. The plumbing guy told me that I should probably turn off the pump because probably down in the well the pump is um, pumping and building up pressure and I don't know what that means it sounds sounds scary and if I don't turn this off something terrible could happen and nobody really knows where the well is it's buried under the driveway and you know I guess people did things in their own little way long time ago. So he said above the water thing is a switch. Just pull the switch. Wow, my big adventure. Yeah, that looks pretty official. So he's going to come tomorrow. I wonder what it looks like inside going to come tomorrow and um, see how he can help us out. But the good news is, and you know, the optimist, the good news is that here we go, the furnace, um, which is, which works with, um, you know, baseboard heaters that have hot water in them will still work. So that's really, really good. Isn't this basement cool, by the way? Look at these rocks, eh? Like it's, you know, 150 years old or something. Anyway, I guess the big, big problem is that the pipes indeed are frozen and they should have been wrapped in insulation and, and you know, have a heating wire on them and stuff like that. So anyway, the fellow's going to come tomorrow and... Meanwhile, we're without any running water, but, well, that's just part of the Bear River experience. <laughs>